Welcome to our tutorial about Snap Mode. Snap Mode helps you make edits with greater accuracy by magnetizing your edits like cuts and erases to a grid or other events that you can customize, or what's called quantize. You can set up a grid in bars, for example, and then make your adjustments along this grid to make sure that your music is on tempo. Many of Cubase's editing windows offer a Snap 2 option, so it's a feature that you'll see and use frequently. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use Snap Mode in the main project window. This is the Snap 2 button right here. It's blue when it's active. When it's active, you're able to make selections from the three adjacent fields. This is the Snap Type menu. This is the Grid Type menu. And finally, we have the Quantize Type menu. We're going to talk about how to use all three of these. First, let's talk about Snap Type. The drop down menu shows a number of options. If I choose Grid and my project display is in bars and beats format, then I can choose to snap to the nearest bar, to the nearest beat, or some other value that I determine by selecting Use Quantize. Let's select Use Quantize. I determine my quantize value from the next adjacent drop down menu. 1 over 1 is a bar, 1 over 2 is every half bar. 1 over 4 would give you every beat if you're in 4-4 four, four time. You can also set your value to 8th notes, triplets, etc. If you need to, you can set up your own custom value. You can establish the grid, the type of rhythm, and a number of other options. We'll be covering quantize setup in more detail later in this course. Let's close this window for now. If my project display is in time format, and Snap Mode is active, and I choose Grid as my Snap Type, I'm able to determine the precision of my snapping as a number of milliseconds, ranging from 1 to 1,000 milliseconds. That's a second. Let's return to Bars and Beats display. With Snap Mode active, and a Use Quantize option selected, if 1 over 1 is my selected Quantize Type, if I try to move this event, I'll only be able to drop it at the beginning of a bar. I can't drop it anywhere in the middle, even on any of the beats. Same thing if I try to cut the event. I can only cut it at the bar division, not anywhere in between. I can get more granular by dividing my quantize into eighth notes. This will let me make adjustments in eighth note subdivisions. Now let's talk about the next snap type, Events. This magnetizes the starts and ends of events. If I drag an event, it'll snap to the nearest event. This is a good way to ensure that there's no space between events. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Now let's talk about the next snap type, Shuffle. In Shuffle mode, I can switch parts around really easily and snap them right together. If you cut out something, everything after it jumps in the timeline to close the gap. Parts will reverse to accommodate the new order. All the edges will neatly snap together without any spaces, so this might be a good way for you to create some loops. This mode is also useful, for example, if you're editing a voiceover where you can easily remove mistakes and false starts and then have all of the material jump up in the timeline. Magnetic Cursor makes the project cursor magnetic. If you move the cursor near an event, the event will snap to the cursor's location. The other modes you see here are combinations of the grid, events, shuffle, and magnetic cursor types. And this concludes our tutorial on Cubase's Snap Quantize feature.